Squeeze Squeezy here with another tw uh, video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be going over the very, well, not the very basics, but the basics of bootstrap. And I'll just be going over, you know, different types of bootstrap tricks and things, some cool effects you can do. Um, I'm not going to do the absolute, I'm not going to, you know, go through the trouble of the absolute basics because that's actually pretty boring. I'm just going to go over all the cool little things that you can do with jQuery. It's, it's pretty awesome. So, um, let me explain what I did so far. Uh, I just have the imports, you know, the, the uh, JavaScript, the jQuery, or no, the CSS, the jQuery, and the JavaScript. For Bootstrap, these are all CDNs. Uh, I'll put the CDNs on, in the description. And then this here will just set the viewport. Okay, so let's get started. Um, you need to create a div. Uh, this will be what will separate our div from the rest of our website, but we're not actually going to create a website. Um, uh, yeah, so we're not actually going to create a website. We're just going to do the nav bar. And I'll have a website creation tutorial later, but you know, not now. Nav. Alright, uh, this is where we're going to have all of our data for the navigations bar. Yipper skipper. Okay, uh, class is equal to nav bar nav bar default default nav bar you can look up other nav bars you can do but we're not going to do that right now and then of course uh, nav bar fixed to top and you can fix it to the bottom you know have a nav bar on the bottom or nav bar on the top whichever one floats your boat okay um all right, and I'm just going to have a fluid container where we're going to put all of our uh, meat, all of our data. Uh, class is going to be container fluid. Oh, and by the way, the uh, text editor I'm using is Atom. Look it up; it's awesome. Uh, div class. Div. Div. All right. And this is gonna be our header. This is uh, if we open up a fancy website. If we go here, you see we're basically we're gonna making something that looks exactly like this, except without this and not of this color. Um, this here's the header. That's what we're programming right now. Uh, okay. Oh. All right. Class is equal to nav bar header. nav bar header and in here we're just going to have a class is going to be equal to nav bar brand uh, href uh, I'm just going to set it to you know just the website I'm just going to have nothing uh, Linus's page. Uh, Linus is my kitty cat. I love him. I adore him. He's amazing. You'd be silly not to love him too. Alright, now what we're going to program in is our meat. All of this. And yes, it's going to have this little, you know, tracky thing. And later on I am actually going to make a tutorial where you have the drop down, but that'll be later on. Uh... And, you know, that'll probably be, like, a three-second video. <laughs> it's going to be really quick. Uh, anyways. Um, UL. Uh, so we need to create a unordered list. And for the sake of CSS, nav. Now, one thing. All of the CSS is already here. It's already programmed in. So all you need to do is put in the classes, and it's all fine. You don't need to... There's no extra CSS files, if you know what I mean. So, uh, nav... Nav, nav bar, nav, navigation bar, and let's uh, just close this other list. Oh, okie dokie. Now what we need to do is create our list. Um, class is going to be, this is going to be, class is going to be, um, Active. This is the one that's going to be selected. 
So if you, you know, if I select it, it's going to have a little box over it that says it's selected. <laughs> totally pro explaining skills. A href is equal to uh, static. Um, meow. Okay. And I'm just going to put in two more of these. Except this time we're not going to make it active. And you can make it active, but I don't know why you would want to. Okay. Copy that. Paste it. Yeah, three. There we go, we're ready to run this. Open with Google Chrome. Yep, there we go. That is your nav bar. It works perfectly. It's fine. We all love it. And congratulations, you've got you've done that a uh, nav bar. So um, that is basic Bootstrap. I am going to put a um, a link to the GIS where I'm going to put all of this data in. And I'm also going to put well in in the GIS. There's going to be you know the CDNs. So. Yeah. Thank you all for watching. Um, uh, quick, quick update. Uh, I haven't actually made any more Unity videos because people just don't watch them anymore. But if you watch them and you want to see them, please say so in the comments below. Okay, so um, please like, subscribe, comment, all of that fun stuff. And as always, I will see you in the next video tutorial, whenever that might be. So, audio squids. Woo!